Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to show you my daily fitness routine for at home workouts, like a full at home routine. My day starts about 7 a.m. by the time I get out of bed and I take my temperature first thing every morning for my period tracking app, like birth control app, um, and chug a bunch of water. That is like number one in my day. And I've been using for all of my workouts, tracking this amazing Michael Kors Access MK Go smartwatch and just a big thank you to Michael Kors for sponsoring this video so that I can share this routine with you guys because it really has helped me not only tracking my workouts, understanding what's happening through all those workouts, but being able to log in my Love Sweat Fitness app too, which is really, really nice. And it's powered with Wear OS by Google. So once I get up, stretch out a little bit, I take my thyroid medication and then spray some hydrating mist. I'm not gonna wash my face or brush my teeth yet because I'm gonna have coffee and work out but I just like feeling like awake with my little facial mist. So then the next thing I do is make my coffee because it is life. You guys know I usually do like an almond or an oat milk, get it nice and heated up with cinnamon in the milk, which like steaming your milk makes all the difference in the world. Like it just is magic. I don't know. I love everything about it. And then one shot of a regular espresso, one shot of decaf, and then my little magic mixture. If you guys haven't seen this, I have it saved in my hypo highlights on Instagram, but it's like maca and ashwagandha and all sorts of things that are supposed to be really good if you have hypothyroidism like me. And I try to stretch it out and just like wake up my body while I'm making my coffee because sometimes it takes a while to steam that milk. It's kind of a process. And then before anyone gets to the house, I like to spend time just like working on projects. I've been really working on different quotes for the new office and just inspo boards and things that I wanna get done. And by the way, speaking of getting things done, seriously on this, and this watch is so cool. It has Google Assistant, so you can make an appointments and just say, okay, Google, and tell it to make an appointment for 3 p.m. and it doesn't, puts it in your calendar. All right, so it is time to get my sweat on. I just wanna say like, I think the biggest thing that people think when they wanna work out is that they need a space or a big gym or something else. And literally I'm working out in this like eight by 10 studio at my house that has two desks in it. It's full of furniture, but all you need is space for yourself and your mat and you're good to go. All right guys, so I just looked at my app and I have a full body workout, which is good because I just finished some arms and abs and I had a big run yesterday so my legs are kind of sore. So I really do need to work everything. I feel like if I just had a leg day or an arm day, I'd be like, jello. Um, I'm gonna be tracking everything on the MK Go watch. And I have to say, like, there's a lot of things I like about this watch, but the biggest thing for me personally, because I don't wear a lot of jewelry, I don't wear like watches all the time normally, but I'm really trying, especially since I ran the half marathon, to track my workouts more as far as like all the details. And it really allows me to do that, but it's so lightweight, which is probably my favorite thing about it because it doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything. Like it's literally that light, like it's like amazing. Um, but it has really, really cool tracking features. So when we get into the workout, like I'll show you guys how I'm able to track all the like the sets and reps and everything right in the watch. And it uses Google Fit to track your heart rate and activity tracking, which is really amazing. Like you'll see the features when it comes to those reps and sets, which is really awesome. I haven't seen that in any other watch out there. Um, but before we get into the workout, I just feel like it's important to understand why I do the workouts the way that I do them. So obviously I lost 45 pounds. I became a certified personal trainer. I've kept it off for like nine years now. And if you have a Love Sweat Fitness app or if you've done any of my other programs, you know there's this very specific way I do it and it's different than a lot of other programs out there. So other trainers will do like kind of a narrow focus training where you only are doing things like supersets where you do two exercises back to back with no rest or you're only doing like circuit training or only doing X, Y, or Z. For me, that can work for a while, but then your body gets used to it, it's familiar, and you stop seeing the change in the results that you're looking for. So my method is a three to one method. I choose three exercises to start that are built on strength, really focusing on building lean muscle, toning your body, giving you the definition you want, and then one exercise that is really more high intensity that allows you to burn fat, burn calories. So combination of those are the most effective way to work out. And throughout the app, you see the intensity growing as you get stronger. It's programmed to get you stronger every single week and constantly changing. 
and your weights are changing, your reps are changing. So that's really nice about the MK Go too, is I can track all of that right in the watch and see like, oh, last week I did narrow rows and I only used eight pounds and this week I did them and I'm using 10 pounds. And that's a really cool thing. Like you don't get to see that a lot of places, but it is so important. So for me, my goal is to give you guys like the most fast and effective workouts you can do in a tiny space like this because that's what I needed when I was losing my weight. Like I didn't have a gym to go to. I barely had money to buy any equipment. I had some dumbbells and that was kind of it. So I want to make sure in a short amount of time, like 30 to 45 minutes, you can get a crazy effective workout and see your body changing consistently. So you don't have to jump around trying every program under the sun. You find one that works like this and it constantly challenges you to change. So I'm going to show you my full body workout for today. We're going to see what I have in store. It's always funny because I write the workouts, right? But I still get my own butt kicked every single time I do them. And I'm always like, oh crap, there's so many burpees today, but it's so good for my body. So let's take a peek at what I got on the schedule. Okay, so when I get into the app, I'll have today's workout that I'm gonna start. So normally I'll just go to Let's Get Sweaty and it runs me right through, but I wanna show you guys the overview. So circuit one, I have plank row with a squat to start out, lateral squat walks, oh, that booty band, single leg deadlifts and ice skaters. So you can see I'm really working my entire body, full body, um, and challenging myself throughout that. And then the next circuit overview, suitcase swing. These ones, if you guys have done them before, whoo. So good, they get that booty and your abs really, really good. Spider crunches, bridge hip lift chest press, and high knee lunge jumps. So if I wanna start the workout from here, just go right into it, and there we go. All right, so like I said, like I'm a little bit sore everywhere, but not too sore, so I wanna make sure that I am like crushing this workout. I'm gonna be using two 15 pound weights, so I'm in advance in the app right now, um, but I'm gonna go into the watch, so I'm gonna use the watch to log my workout, like I said. So you go into fit workout and you just tap it right there. And it really has so many different types of workouts. Like if you go to other workouts, it has some of my favorites already saved in here. But look at this list, you guys. Holy moly. I've never seen a watch that has like every workout you could ever imagine under the sun listed in here. It's pretty crazy. All right, so we're gonna go into strength training and this is a really cool thing. I'm gonna start my workout and literally you just start moving and doing the exercises and I'll show you what it does. It like detects what you're doing. about the watch um, when I do my exercises it's just detecting them then I end set and it has all these exercises that it guesses based on the motion that you're doing the best it can which sometimes it's like spot on but the nice thing is like it got the bicep curl but that's a really complex move I don't expect anything to be able to know I was doing rows and then hopping into a plank and then bicep curling and pressing overhead so I can actually just go in and it has a bunch so it does like our best guess, different exercises, and then you can add a new exercise. So I could type in the actual exercise in the app or just say it, which is really nice, and then it'll add it there. And then let's just say for ease, bicep curl, just so you guys can see how it works. Then I can edit rep, so say I did 10, and I was using 15 pounds, technically using 30 pounds, because I had two 15 pounds, and then I'll save that. So you can go and then add each exercise from your set, which is really rad. So then as I go through my workout throughout the day, I can add each one as I take my break. So it forces you to take your mandatory break with your body needs in between. And then at the end of my app workout, I can go in and journal, log everything. I can put some of this information in my notes, which is really nice. Then I have it saved in two places, more detailed, and then my general how I'm feeling 
and journaling in the LSF app too. So it's really awesome. All right, so the app workouts, depending on the week, again, they get like harder as you go. So for me, sometimes they only take me 20 or 30 minutes. Sometimes they take me more like 45, especially as I start increasing those weights because you gotta slow down a little bit as you have heavier weights. But the key to increasing your weights is really as you get to a point where if you have 10, say you have 10 reps of an exercise and you're using a 10 pound weight, if you get through all 10 of those like pretty easy, it's time to up your weights. Your ninth and 10th rep should be challenging, so maybe try up to like a 12 pound or a 15 pound. And I like try to guide you each week and like throughout each level to make sure you are doing that. But just know that that's kind of the way to figure out if you're ready to go up to another level. And truly adding in those weights, you can do almost all the exercises without weights, but adding in the weight is where you're gonna start getting that definition in your shape. So that builds the lean muscle. It also helps burn more fat so that you can start to see your abs popping or see your waistline shrinking and you're not just building muscle without burning that excess fat. The first two to three weeks of any new fitness routine, you guys have to know this, you usually are gonna feel worse. Like this happens almost any time you start feeling kind of like fluffy or bulky and that's because you're building muscle. You have all these little muscle tears and your body's holding on to water and you kind of just feel off. So give anything you're trying two to three weeks, four weeks really is better um, for you to start feeling that change happening and feeling good. And then four to six weeks, six to eight, you're really gonna start seeing those changes happen if you're consistent and your nutrition is on point. So in any given week for me, that's kind of what it looks like, I'll show you guys. I have, oops, I have like full body, then abs and cardio, my self love day, which self care post workout, but every day is so important, you guys. Like you have to take care of your body, foam rolling after a workout, there's stretch videos, all the things. Um, but the cardio sweat sesh are the ones that I want to talk about because you know I did a half marathon, which is crazy, and it really kind of altered my workout schedule a bit. So normally I'd be doing the heaviest weights I can as I'm going through my circuits, but I had way longer cardio sweat sesh days. It recommends usually between 30 and 60 minutes depending on kind of your level and where you're at and different types of cardio but I had like very specific training I had to do to get ready for the marathon. So I usually would lessen my weights that I was using during my circuit days in the app. And then when I had cardio sweat sesh days, I would just do whatever I had to do for my training, which I'm gonna be sharing my whole training schedule. It was an eight week plan that I created and I worked with a couple of people that are like running professionals to help me with it. Um, so I'm going to share with you guys on the blog. So make sure you're signed up for the newsletter. I'll put that link down below so you can get that too. But um, it was pretty intense. But the really great thing, I did use the MK Go watch for some of that training. And it's amazing because it has untethered GPS, which I didn't usually like to have my phone with me. And it can still track your GPS. It tracks everything like to the T without having to have that on you, which is such a game changer, especially when you're running. It has Google Pay, which I use like to get coffees after we do our crazy long morning runs and I wouldn't have to carry a wallet and like all that kind of stuff. So um, it's really awesome. I feel so good that I did that marathon, but I have to tell you, I love being back to my normal strength training and cardio routine in the Love Stuff Fitness app because that's just when I feel my best. Like I feel my absolute best, even though I was running tons more miles every week, when I have those heavier weights and I'm really focusing on those different things that are like structured and planned in the app, it just allows me to feel my strongest, my leanest. Um, and it's only been a week being back on schedule or two weeks now, I guess. Um, but I just absolutely love being back to like normalcy, normal routine. All right, so you have to take time to recover. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of moves I love to do with a foam roller post-workout. And I've been thinking about it for a while, but would you guys want to see LSF do a foam roller? If you do, comment below because I want one that's ours. I've had this one like way too long. And instead of buying a new one, I figure I'll just make one for me and all of you. daily fitness routine in a nutshell. I usually will finish off after foam rolling with a smoothie with some nice protein in there. Um, so I'm gonna make that right after this. 
Thank you again to Michael Kors for sponsoring this video so I could show you guys all the nitty gritty of my daily fitness routine and for this amazing Michael Kors Access MKGO smartwatch. Um, now is the time to put these on your Christmas list if you guys are down with it. So the link is down below for you to check it out. Send it to your moms, your sisters, whoever, or buy yourself one because it's the holidays, so you should treat yourself. Um, and if you want like the step-by-step -step daily, literally what I do every single day for my fitness routine, it's in the Love Sweat Fitness app. So you guys can check that out too with the link below. Oh, and my running routine, but he's sharing that on the blog. So keep it out for everything. Don't forget, good things come to those who sweat. So keep sweating it out. I'll see you guys back here next week. Bye.